This is Team 7, the Dream Team. The plot of the story is centered around Frank and Hector, who are lifelong friends and they actually decide to come together and open their own pizza parlor after many years of talking about it, they actually finally got the loan to put it into action. So they decide to go for it. And the difference between the two is that Hector is one of the more lenient managers and he wants his employees to think he's cool. Whereas Frank is the stricter of the two and he believes that um, the employees should have set guidelines that they live up to and proper training, etc. Et and Frank actually gets frustrated with Hector because Hector is so different in the style of managing that he has and Frank ends up leaving Frank and Hector's for a time so we will see later how their partnership or lack thereof pans out. The main goal of this show is going to be to debunk one of the management myths that is the direct manager on duty doesn't have any really responsibilities to do. Um, that isn't really true. We'll get back to that later on in the show, in the slideshow. Um, also, we are to evaluate and learn lessons about managerial behavior in the workplace, how to properly act, how to properly conduct your employees, and stuff like that. Also, it's to show viewers how to balance in the implementation of both personal and professional goals as a manager, and how to sort of find the, the middle ground between those two. Introducing some of the characters that are in the show, we have on the left, Frank. We have in the green shirt, Hector. We have in the blue shirt with the stripes, James, and we have in the blue business attire, Bill. A quick overview of our first character, Frank, is that he's a transformational leader. Now what that means is that he is a leader that motivates followers to ignore self-interest and work for the larger good of the organization to achieve significant accomplishments. He's also strict, organized, not very flexible, follows the rules to the book, He's also accurate and precise. For our second character, we have Hector. He's a transactional leader, which means leader, he's a leader that focuses on motivating the followers' self-interest by exchanging rewards for their compliance. He's also spontaneous, he's pretty friendly, he's laid back, he's a strong communicator, but he's also susceptible to social situations. For our third main character, we have James. He's young, very hardworking. He's very financially hungry because this is his first job. He lacks work experience, which gets back to the first job. He's energetic, he's a people pleaser, but he also has the trait of creative problem solving. For our final main character, we have Bill. Bill is very business savvy. He doesn't really work well with others. He's very power hungry, and he's also financially stable because he's in charge of a very successful pizza chain and he's passionate about his business which also is the key to his success. The target market of the show is going to be a more local audience which also includes college students and families because Frank and Hector they grew up in the town that Frank and Hector's pizzas resides in and therefore they aim to make it the go-to pizza place with more of a homey atmosphere and less of a chain. Um, which is also why all the employees are local chefs, college or high school students, etc. For the next several slides you will see summaries of our four episodes and how we plan to execute their production over the rest of the semester. So sit back and relax. The first episode is going to feature Frank training his employees by the book, where soon after they go to work under Hector, where he says there is no need to be so strict, and then he, he becomes more lenient with the employees, so the employees uh, pick up some bad habits. And Hector also throws in some rewards to his employees, just so that he can be uh, the favorite of the two, of Frank and Hector. And those, those rewards include some long breaks, days off in some cases, and also Hector's uh, transactional leadership later comes to bite him, because it causes the conflict between the two managers and their employees. Episode 2 features the falling out of Frank and Hector because Hector has become just so lenient with the employees and it's not what Frank wants. Frank wants everybody to have good work habits when they have their first job, which is what most of these employees are. Is This is their high school 
first job, um, they just turned like 16 or 17, and uh, the lack of cooperation leads to Frank leaving Frank and Hector's. So Hector finds out that Frank has been hired at Papa's Pizzeria, which is a contender in the area, and it's very prestigious, and it's, um, it's it just gives him a bunch of trouble in the area. So Bill, the owner of Papa's Pizzeria, is very power hungry, and he hired Frank so that he could learn to collaborate better for his business. So him and Frank work together as a team, and they both understand what it means to be a really good, really solid manager team. And therefore, Papa's Pizzeria is now even more successful than it was before. And before, it was one of the powerhouses in the area, so just imagine that. In the third episode, Hector realizes the error of his ways and how his lack of rule following hasn't helped his business in any way, shape, or form, and it has actually um, come back to haunt him because it's made his job much harder because he finally comes to his senses and knows that he needs to start stepping up as a manager um, for what will always be him and Frank's dream pizza parlor. And with Frank gone, Hector is struggling to keep his business alive. So in order to keep the dream alive, most of his employees um, need to be retrained, and it's really hard to do that because none of them really respect him and they see him more as a friend and not an authority figure. So Hector realizes, uh, his realizations cause him to respect Frank's managerial style. And also he begins to confide in one of his newly hired high school employees, James, who we mentioned earlier in the, in the character lineup. And James sort of becomes Hector's uh, assistant manager. And uh, Hector will always go to James for more support and just stuff like that. All right, so the fourth episode, uh, it shows Frank, who's uh, enjoying his new partnership. However, he does get annoyed with Bill's power hunger from time to time. And back at Frank and Hector's, Hector still hasn't really made any drastic adjustments towards his managerial skills. Um, but there's still room for improvement. So his employees start showing up later and later, knowing that they can get away with it without any repercussions. The quality of the pizza also starts suffering, and the customer he starts losing customers because of it. Hector gives a call up to Frank for uh, some advice. And Frank tries to tell him, you know, man, I told you so. And that his way of managing is right. And then they begin to bicker. And then after they realize that they miss arguing with each other, they discover that the key to managing is finding a balance between being a leader and also being a friend. So Frank and Hector even talk about possibly, possibly working together again someday. But nothing is actually put into place yet. So Hector is determined to become a better manager after his talk with Frank. And he realizes that he actually really needs to start stepping up if he wants this business to succeed. So, um, the next day, Hector acts like a manager to his employees instead of a friend. Although the employees resist his, the new change in Hector, they inevitably eventually come to respect him as a manager. So that's a, a step in the right direction. Uh, this slide contains <coughs> upcoming video themes that we're going to have. Uh, for episode 5, we're going to have how to apply or ask to return to a managerial position. This is when Frank comes back to the company after his time away at Papa's Pizzeria with Bill. And he's missed the company, so he comes back to help Hector out. In video 6, we're going to have how to implement a management plan slash strategy. This is when Frank and Hector actually work together to come up with a balanced plan as opposed to what they had before. Um, video 7 is going to contain the management myth debunked. That myth being the effective manager has no regular duties to perform. That is not true at all. Frank and Hector, they realize that if they start working with their employees and alongside them, and start helping out when they need to, that they are more respected and be create a stronger relationship with the employees that they have hired, so they have more leverage later on. So far for our Milestone 1, we've received a 10 out of 10. Also for Milestone 2, we received the same grade, 10 out of 10. And after receiving constructive feedback from our TA slash professor, we decided to meet as a group and build our story so that we were all on the same page before the midterm because this group thrives on cooperation and that's also crucial in a management situation. All right, next up we have Milestone 3 and 4 that we have yet to uh, complete and turn in and receive grades for. Uh, the rough outline of our to-do list is we have to expand on the ideas that we have for episodes 5, 6, and 7, which um, I'm actually really looking forward to that. We have to execute all the video production, which is also something I'm looking forward to. 
Uh, we have to gradually collaborate and submit our Finger Puppet Management TV show and continue to act together as the Dream Team. Thank you for watching, courtesy of the Dream Team.